Hi everyone! Today is a crazy day! <laughs> happy Monday! I am very happy to be here with you guys today. Um, we are fingers crossed that this is all going to work as it's supposed to. Um, today, Facebook is down and so um, we're going to just be on YouTube today, but I will upload the video over on Facebook later as soon as Facebook comes back from whatever broke it. So we are trying this. I had a little glitch um, if you were on earlier and you noticed that it stopped. Um, I think that was user error on my part because it wasn't set up. It was set up uh, the same way as it normally is and apparently that won't work if you're not streaming to Facebook too. So now we are just streaming to YouTube and so all that to say, welcome. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. Happy Monday. Today we are talking about raw edge applique and detail stitching on our cute little fall pillow that is right here. Isn't it fun? So today we're going to talk about this edge stitching and I'm going to give some tips on how to do that. Even if you've never done it before, this is a perfect project to start raw edge applique with because it's not a lot of detail. It's really um, big pieces that we're going to be stitching down and it's very, very forgiving. So it's a perfect first project, even if you've never done it before. If you have, then yay you and this will be super easy for you. But we're also going to talk about um, other methods of applique if you hate raw edge <laughs> applique. And then we're going to just go over a little bit of this detail stitching that is around the pumpkin. So I want to say hi to some people that are over on YouTube. Hey, Valeria and Roxy's here. Leanne is having Facebook issues today. Leanne, it's not just you. The whole world is having Facebook issues today. So there's that. <laughs> Shirley's here. Aaron's here. Hey, Aaron. Maureen's here. And Leslie. Oh, Leslie, you're the best. Thank you. It's gorgeous here, you guys. I think it's like 75. It's going to be a beautiful week. We do have some rain coming, but I'm very excited about our fall-ish temperatures that are heading our way. This is very good. I'm very happy about that. I tend to, when I make pillows, I just sit and I cuddle the pillow the whole time. So now I'm going to put my pillow away <laughs> and not do that because <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I wanted to update you on some things that are linked in today's video description that you can find out all the info on on the blog. But we um, shared the last row and the, all the trimming so long. I don't have that to show you because it is already sewn into the quilt top and I want to reveal that all tomorrow. So I don't have my tree row to show you guys. Um, but it's such a cute design. Everything's free. It's hosted by Fat Quarter Shop and it's a really darling row quilt. I did end up adding borders to mine. So I'm excited for you guys to see that tomorrow. Um, it will be on the blog tomorrow. So um, it's going to be really fun. It's super cute design. That's linked in today's video description so you can check it out. It's the All the Trimmings quilt and it's the tree blocks. That was our last row. And then this week is our finishing the layout row. Um, there's tons of different ideas out there if you search the hashtag on Instagram or if you're in the Fat Quarter Shop Facebook group you can see there's two there's some people that have already gone ahead and finished and a bunch of them have different kinds of methods for finishing. There were some people that added extra rows and then some people that did really neat applique around it. I didn't go super crazy but I did want it to be a little bit bigger because I want to use it instead of hang it. Though I think it is a very darling Christmas hanger. It would be so cute especially like in an entryway or something like that. But we're going to use mine. So I added some borders and um, made it a bit bigger so I'll have that to show you tomorrow. There's also a really fun and it's not really a sew along but it's a month long series of projects. So I've shared before about Riley Blake's um, low volume collection that's out right now called Hush Hush and they're hosting a really fun sew along where a bunch of us that designed prints for the collection are doing a project called Follow the Bluebird. So they've put out three free bluebird patterns. So the bird is either um, regular traditionally pieced or paper pieced or applique and you can pick whichever one is your jam or you can download all three. All three patterns are free and then every day this month a different designer will be sharing a project they've made with the bird and the background. So um, mine's not for a couple weeks yet so you have to wait to see mine but you can, I've linked in the video description 
the uh, follow the bird patterns and then the schedule as well. So you can get all that by going to visit Riley Blake and maybe find a fun new project. I'm really excited about this collection. I think it's so fun that so many of us came together and made all sorts of different prints, low volume of course, but they all look really great together. So, and I have another project planned for them after October where I'm going to be making a whole quilt with these. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. It's very fun. Hey, Cynthia. Oh, Roxy, you're doing all the trimmings too. Yay, Roxy. Oh, it's pouring in Georgia, is it, Shirley? That sounds nice. I think that's supposed to be us tomorrow. So that's fun. Um, and let's see, what else is going on? I linked to a few other things and I'm gonna forget them. I don't know what they were. But if, <laughs> if I remember, um, you can find all the info in today's video description. You can also find the link to the free pattern and details on the blog post that I wrote about our cute pillow. All of the, um, it, the patterns that you need and all the videos, of course, are free for those. So it's going to be, I just am having a blast seeing your pillows. There's several people who have already just dived on and finished them, which the instructions are all on the blog. So you can finish them anytime you like. You don't have to wait for me. <laughs> but um, it's such, it's so fun seeing a pattern in different fabrics. It just gives it a whole new look. And I've even seen a couple people who last week we talked about doing a almost a low volume pumpkin. So it looks kind of like those white or really pale Cinderella pumpkins. And I love that. I can't wait to make up one like that. So um, check that out if you want to see some different versions. There are a bunch of people posting in my Facebook group, which is the Flamingo Toast Stitch and Share Club. You can find the link to that. You can't go there now because Facebook's broke. But <laughs> Hopefully it will be back at some point. So every week we have a giveaway. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is a sneak peek for you guys. It's not in my shop yet, but it is a brand new Halloween and I know I'm releasing it in October and I realize that doesn't give you a lot of time and I'm sorry about that, but my schedule is what it is. So I thought it'd be better to do that than wait till next year. So this is my new cross stitch pattern that will be out next week. It's called Come Sit for a Spell. It has my really cute little Halloween kitty that is, I have this in needle minder form. And there's a spider web up at the top and she's of course all covered with florals. And then there's some pumpkins on either side. And then I've really gotten to where I'm loving this like floral border that I've done around a lot of my cross stitch patterns. So she's kind of got my signature floral border and it doesn't have a huge color palette. I think there's maybe six colors, so it's you know really easy. All my cross stitch patterns have the Orofill colors that I stitch them in, and then comparable DMC colors if you wanna change those out. So, and then of course you can also just do whatever you want. If you want an orange cat and want to change up your flowers, you can do that your cross stitch pattern, so. But I wanna help you out as much as possible, so I'm gonna show you guys that. It's called Come Sit for a Spell, and it's going to be brand new. It is, I'm just waiting for the paper patterns to get here, but it will be available at the beginning of next week. So really fun new pattern, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll probably show it again next week when the patterns are here, just as a reminder. But I wanted you guys to have a sneak peek, because I love it. It's so fun. Okay. So let's talk about giveaways. Every week in our little videos, we have a giveaway. Some are bigger than others. But I just, it's my way of showing you guys how much I appreciate you hanging out with me and tuning in. And um, so this last week's giveaway was a really cute selection of things. It is two uh, five inch stackers from uh, Riley, uh, Riley Blake, their Minky Kim's Moments collection. So I have two of these for you and they're covered in plastic so it's a little hard to see but she has really pretty grays, pinks, blues, creams and her illustrations are amazing. You guys know Minky Kim so um, you will love that. Then I have a set of my aqua cat pins for you and I have a Lori Hope cute cuts mat and this is two sided. It's a five by eight mat so aqua on one side and pink on the other side. So just all in all, a really sweet little giveaway. And our giveaways are really easy to enter. They are, all you have to do is leave a comment on the video and you can do that whether you're watching live or later in the week. 
and I take all the comments and I put them in a random number generator and that's how I pick the winners. It's <laughs> super easy to do. But if you comment more than once, um, those count as extra entries. So if you're chatty, then that's all in your favor. <laughs> Though if you're just saying hi over and over again, I don't count those. <laughs> I count legit, legit comments. <laughs> and our winner from last week is Teresa Murray. Teresa was watching over on YouTube um, after we were live. So Teresa, I will tag you in last week's video, but if you'd send me an email, bev at flamingotoes.com and uh, let me know your mailing address, I'll get this in the mail to you. So that's really fun. Let's see what we have. Hey, Diana. Oh, v Valeria, thank you. Uh, you guys know I love these giant granny square earrings or anything stitched. That's my favorite. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I'm so glad you guys like the cross stitch. Yay. That makes me so happy. Okay, so for this week's giveaway, I have, and this is just now arriving in stores, so super um, awesome that you will be one of the first people to get this, is Hush Hush, and this is a 10-inch stacker. So this kind of is a little sneak peek at the quilt I'm planning to do. I'm going to use this as my background on a Vintage Stars quilt, and I'm going to use the same print, a big floral, for all of my stars, and I'm really excited about it. So. I'm getting you head started. You don't have to make the same thing I'm making. You can even use this as a background and you still do multicolor stars. That would be really awesome too. So I have for you a 10 inch stacker of Hush Hush and I'm gonna show you guys the um, prints in, I need to put this somewhere else without actually knocking everything over. I'm gonna show you guys the prints in Hush Hush. So, one sec, okay. Well, we are white out here. Okay, so we have plastic and I'm gonna turn it like this. So you can see there are really cute, there's 21, one, two, three, four, five, six, 21 prints. And so this is a 10 inch stacker, so there's 40 pieces, 42 pieces, there's two of everything. So you can see they're all low volume and all low volume means is that it is everything light. It's a light background and then the prints on them are not crazy busy, so more subtle. Even this one, which is one of the bolder ones in the group, is really subtle. So there's um, a really, this one is, let me see if I can get up here closer so you can actually see it. This one is different stitches. We have some little line drawn houses, some little geometric prints and dots. This one's one of my favorites. These are little pink hearts. There's a plaid, and these are almost like butterflies or moths. This one is a text one. I know this is Christopher uh, Thompson's, and it is all sorts of color names. So they're all, Riley Blake has a whole line of um, solids called Confetti Cottons, and so these are all uh, color names, which is really fun. Then we have some pink bows, a measuring tape. This one's Quiet Plays, and it's uh, got little um, dots and drops and cute little rainbow stars. This grid one is really fun. This is some little blue hearts, and there are kitties. Well, it doesn't show the kitties. I'm pretty sure they're with the pink hearts. Um, and then this little hexagon one, and another geometric. This one looks like blueprints, which is really fun. Some little X's, this little pretty plaid, a floral, these are flamingos, you guys know that's mine. And then this is Minky Kim's and it's a multicolor. That's the one that's shown here first. So it's one print, but it's all this detail on one, which is awesome. So this is our giveaway along with the Vintage Stars quilt. And then I have two pins for you guys. Did you guys know that I make some of my needle minders into pin form? So these are really cute to wear with your on your purse or on a lanyard if you wear a lanyard or any place. I think they'd be cute on a hat or anything like that. A jacket, it's getting to be jacket season, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> so I have the quilt shop and the needle work shop for you. I don't have all my needle monitors in pin form. I've just picked some of my favorites. So I have the camper and the bike and the um, flamingo hedgehog. I have these two, and I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, the little white cat. Those all come in pin form in addition to the little shops. So 
that is today's giveaway. So Pam's over on YouTube. You found us over here, yay, is Worldwide Outage. Yep, everybody's out on YouTube. So we're all over on, or our Facebook. We're all over on YouTube today. So yay for that. Nope, Carrie, nobody can get on Facebook. <laughs> I'm glad you found me. So I will be posting this later in the Facebook group, but for now we're just on YouTube because Facebook is broke. So if you would like to be entered in this week's giveaway, then definitely leave a comment and let me know what you're doing. <laughs> so that is our giveaway this week. So now we are going to talk about raw edge applique and I'm going to move my camera over here again real quick and we'll get started sewing.